we teach you how to make the foundation by passing the thread through the sew. With this sew, you can see that crochet sew is very, very selective. You can see the holes. I will crochet through these holes round. Once you are going for a flat sew, it must have this hole. The sew must have this type of hole so that you can crochet through it. Materials needed. Your sew, which is selective. Your shoemaker pin. Your crochet pin. You can use size 1 or size 2. Anyone can go. But don't use size 3, 4 or 5 because they are very, very tiny. Your scissors. Your lighter. Then your thread. Size 12 you can see it size 12 you can use any product but as for me i'm using mh size 12 not size 9 for black but other colors you can still use size 9 size 12 but not less than size 9 you can see that i've already pierced on the sole but i will teach you how I got this with the crochet with the shoemaker pin you can see it pierce through the sole this way and make sure that it comes out from the line here like this can see it for the follow the straight line until you pierce round the sole You can see the space I gave here from here to here. Maintain this space. Give space of about 0 0.7 cm from here to here. Maintain it. Start by creating holes on the sole with shoemaker pin you pierce it this way and make sure that the needle comes out from the sole line so once you are piercing you have to be very very careful so that you will not spoil your work. Continue piercing. Give a space of about 0 0.7 cm. Like this. Continue piercing until you go round the sole. You can see I've already finished mine. After creating holes, the next thing is to pass the crochet pin, crochet pin through the sole.
The next thing now is to pass the thread through the hole. This way. Then after that, you make a knot. Then continue passing the thread through the hole, through the hole by slip knit. On the next hole now. So continue sleep knitting. Yes, you can see how neat and straight the slip knit is. So at the end now, once you've gone round the sole, you also slip knit here where the knot is. Then after that, you take this thread that came out from the knot you make. This is what you will use now, the thread, not this one. Then pass it through this hole. Then tighten it with the outer thread. Then after that, take the outer thread inside, this way. On the next hole then you cut with your scissors Yes, you can see I'm true. But before that, make sure that this rock thread are slipping on the sole. This way. Yes. Then, after making the foundation on the sole, the next step is how to crochet on the shoe pad. This is the shoe pad and its lining. You first of all start pierce the shoe pad with the shoemaker pin. 
round Make sure that the shoe pad is well arranged on the sole. You give about 0 0.7 centimeter distance from here to here. You can see. And make sure that the space between the edge and the hole is not too small to avoid tearing off of the shoe pad so continue until you go round the sew Then after piercing this shoe pad, the next step is make a knot. Then pass the crochet pin through the hole from the tip of the shoe pad. Then carry the knot through the shoe pad and make single crochet. Three single crochets. Three times in a hole. That was what I mean by three single crochet. Two. You can see how it is. Three single crochet.
continue crocheting three times in a hole. That is three single crochet until you reach the tip here. Once you read the tip, you slip knit through the upper hole this way. Slip knit. Yes, you can see I'm done. I'm crocheting on the shoe pad. The back. Then the front. Then, after slip knitting on the tip, don't cut the thread because we are going to fix it on the shoe sole. Next step now is how to fix the shoe pad on the sole. First of all, arrange the shoe pad on the sole. Then pass the crochet pin through the hole on the shoe pad. Join with the hole on the sole. This way. Single crochet. Continue with that until you go around the shoe sole.
Then once you reach the end, slip neat on the next hole from where you started. Like this. Then bring out all the thread. Take the thread in inside the hole with the crochet pin. Yes, I'm done. You can see how neat the sand has it. Then the next step now is to light it off. Now your soul is ready for you to make any design you like, any type of design you like to crochet on it. So on my next video, I will show you how to make a design of sandals.